Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac, in uh, my home away from home, just across the apartment here, at Kate's computer. I gotta say, despite the somewhat unfamiliar settings, I have no idea why it's getting framey, by the way. That's just a, a spider mod fix that does not apparently work in the, the Steam version of The Binding of Isaac. I forgot how many little things spider mod takes care of that uh, actually make it such a pleasure to use. Not that the Steam version is like total shit or anything, you know. Geez, why don't we see you try to make a game, Northern Line? Well, I did try that in Game Maker Studio. I made a space shooter that was very bad. Hmm. We'll take those pills momentarily. First, I just want to come through here. It's a very common kind of first floor layout here. Again, if you're not happy with the, the way that this episode sounds, don't worry, it'll go back to normal soon. Tears upgrade, fantastic. If that had been bad trip, I would have been dead. I really should have walked out before using it. Um, yeah, that, that could have killed me. It didn't, so that's great, but uh, it could have. Let's see what our tarot card is. High Priestess. I'm probably going to use that... Well, it'll depend who our boss is here, but I'm probably going to use High Priestess against our boss on the next floor, assuming I can survive our boss on this floor, which, you know, there's not many first floor bosses who can actually in all likelihood hit me the amount of times necessary to kill me, especially with two tiers upgrades and little Gish helping me out with that slow, but we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And we're also going to get a Spirit Heart here, which is a huge draw for us. If we didn't get that, we would have had to go through the entire next floor, in all likelihood at least, without getting hit in order to get a deal with the Devil. Now our deal with the Devil chances should be more or less assured, and I'm actually feeling like I wouldn't necessarily say cocky, but I'm feeling very, very confident in our chances to get a winning run here. We've technically, and that's the best kind, uh, won the past two runs. The la Ooh, that's, uh, there's no way we're going to be able to get to our shop on this floor, but that's a nice amount of money. Maybe we can get an arcade on the next floor. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, we, we've won the last two runs, which I'm excited about. And I think I can justifiably be excited about it, especially, you know, the Isaac run, you know, we, we ended up getting screwed and picking up the tick and losing the Polaroid and going to Shoal. It was an easy win, but, you know, that's that stuff happens from time to time. The big win for us was that last Samson run where it was very, very touch and go. Like, I, I would have bet on the game. You know, the house sometimes wins. I would have bet on the house in that last episode of Isaac, but we came through in the clutch. And that's all that matters. We didn't even get carried. We just, I mean, I don't want to say we got lucky, but just we, we started to be good at the exact right moment. Uh, to be able to beat Blue Baby without getting hit. Especially after getting, like, no good items or, you know, one half-decent item in the form of, like, what, freaking Ghost Baby or something? Uh, on the chest, like, that's a pretty big triumph. I'm hoping that we can continue that today. It is largely gonna depend on, uh, you know, getting some momentum right off the bat here. Very, very psyched to have an arcade, because this gives us a lot of opportunities for stuff like, uh, well, obviously, like, the Blood Bag. But also to get keys and bombs and stuff like that. And I'm gonna go gamble on our Blood Bank here right off the bat. We'll also see if maybe we can get our a key payout or something like that. But we're going to gamble on the Blood Bank right now because we uh, might trade away almost all of our HP to get a deal with the Devil. We might as well take advantage of this HP that we are probably unlikely to use for the boss fight anyway, right? And we'll gamble until we get down to 15 cents just to see if we earn a key. This would, uh, this would sort out a lot for us. We are going to go to our boss trap room, of course, due to the situation we're in. It looks like it's guaranteed one way or the other. Let's take this pill. All right. One way or the other, we'll be going to our secret room, or we'll be going to our shop or our item room, um, by way of the secret room. And it's actually looking like we'll be going, we'll be able to go to both now as a result of the fact that we picked up a key. All right. So we'll use a key on our item room here, and that's going to give us Necronomicon, which is real bad. But if we already have a full reroll, um, we might as well take Necronomicon into like our boss trap room. That's my assumption on how this should go down. Because we're not going to get another reroll anyway, unless we were to fight Krampus. Are we likely to fight Krampus? It's not out of the question. I wouldn't necessarily say it's likely. Oh, yep. Yep, that was... Oh my god, okay. This is like the ultimate good but bad. Uh, the flies made me get hit. That sucks. But on the other hand... They also drew the bomb back to where the secret room actually was, which was very surprising. Now, this is only a range upgrade. It's pretty bad. But at the same time, I'm going to make uh, good use of it 
Because we're here already, you never know if maybe we're going to pick up number one or something like that. And we are in a bit of a touch-and-go spot here. We're going to fight three bosses uh, in, in pretty quick succession. Which is dangerous when one hit could kill us. But at the same time, you know, the, the when you put yourself into these... Ooh, I took red hard damage and I feel like an idiot now. Um, but when you put yourself in these difficult situations, it can help you sh get sharpened, you know? It, it takes a it takes a sharp edge to to sharpen a knife. That almost made no sense, um, but yeah, hopefully you you sort of understand what I mean. I might have screwed my deal with the devil chances here. I shouldn't have stood there. That's just as easy as that. We did a great job in our fighting fight against Monstro, and then I kind of blew it. Um, I am gonna gamble a little bit more just while we have the red hearts ready to like back us up here. I think I'm safe going down to one and a half, which means we can actually go all the way down. Sweet. Uh, I was going to say two, uh, a half, because there was one on the outside, but at least we got our HP upgrade for that. That was a smart play that I, I cannot be, you know, relied upon to make. Remember, we have to not take damage here. And we did get our deal with the devil. The foot kind of obscured it, and I was kind of resigned to the fact that we weren't going to get it, but it totally worked out. Uh, okay, I'm going to pick up Luckfoot. I am going to pick up the Guppy's Paw, and then I'm going to reroll it. And we're going to get the Razor Blade, which is, is trash. But uh, I, I'm still very happy with the way that this went down. And we can't get to our shop. Well, we'll still try. Because we still have uh, the ability to gamble up here. We just need a key. This would be awesome if you just paid out right away. Oh, come on. Now we're going to be here for like 10 years. But anyway, we'll, we'll give it a try because we'd like to. And hey, look at this pill. What's this pill? Uh, telepills into the shop. Okay. Turns out that's actually pretty bad. But it does save us a little bit of time, I guess. Telepills is not benefited by uh, Luckfoot. Oh, a golden key. Just in time. I don't need this at all. I need a regular key. Oh my god. The one thing that you pay out with every kind of freaking obscuring option here. It's okay. 15 cents is the magic number. We could probably even afford to go a little lower. I'd rather not, though. And we're getting paid out with money like crazy. If I could just buy a key in here, that would be wonderful. Or if I could buy a key in our shop, which we now have access to, that would be wonderful. But we can't, and that's okay. Hey, bombs! This is good. Secret room, for sure. Hey! Just pay out. Oh, you're too good to me. Okay. So we're in a good spot. We got our whole guppy life ahead of us. If you're sad that I became guppy uh, on a recent run... I apologize for that, but Guppy's been a little harder to come by lately than normal. So I am not going to apologize too much for, you know, the innate human desire to succeed and become powerful. Especially when it's at nobody's expense. So we're really, really hoping for, you know, this isn't a spirit heart, but it it's a gateway to spirit hearts. Which I think is, is meaningful. Uh, okay, we're fucked. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way we're getting out of that one without taking red hard damage. Accidentally freed them from their own prison. Scott Stapp would be proud. Come on, man. Come on. There we go. Demon Baby. I think it's good enough to pick up. I know it's a special item. I've totally checked out of the don't pick up special items until the end of the floor meta. I apologize. I know that's going to annoy some people. At the same time, I just can't get behind that. You know what? What I will do is double down on uh, arcades this time. Not arcades. Libraries. Arcades, too, if possible, but libraries in particular. If we can get double item rooms, I would be stoked. Uh, I'm relying on getting another key. If we get another key, we can go to our shop, and it should be useful as well. But this is a nice opportunity for us to dump some unwanted or non-useful rerolls, which I am fairly stoked about, I would say. Finally, a use for those unwanted rerolls. Now, money situation's great. Uh, even if we bought an item on this floor, we would still be able to get a 15 set item from the shop on the next floor. If we played our secret room cards right, we'd also be able to spawn an arcade, unless we bought a consumable. We'll see. Ooh, that was almost dumb damage. All right, rerolls are going to be in perfect order here. I do think it's worth a bomb, because we do still have a deal with the devil chance here. It's a slight one, but uh, it's a deal with the devil chance nonetheless. And we didn't get it, but that's okay. I'm stoked to have the HP, and you know what? We have another guilt-free reroll on our library down here. Considering we already saw Necronomicon, 
These are going to be the fourth and fifth books taken out of our rotation. We have not seen Book of Revelations. We have not seen Book of Shadows. And I don't think we've seen Monster Manuel. So Book of Revelations, as far as I can tell, is the only one that's still left here. Which is great, because when that shows up, we want it to show up, right? We, we want the Spirit Heart. Hopefully we get one more reroll here. Hopefully we get access to our shop and it's just a good item right off the bat. But so far, this is fairly... I mean, it's not a textbook run. And the reason it's not a textbook run is because we didn't gain anything of direct value on the first deal with the Devil. Thank God I got that range upgrade, right? Totally allowed me to kill that guy standing in a pretty uh, invulnerable place. But anyway, yes, uh, we our first deal with the Devil was good for future prospects. But it doesn't impact us directly. At least not uh, not in an expedited fashion, which is unfortunate, but maybe not the end of the world. Come on, let me bomb my way into the shop. Ah, your mother. Okay. Well, there is a small chance that, you know, we get even another reroll on this floor, although at this point, I would be very, very surprised. Most likely, it would be if we got like a 9 volt on our, uh, on our shop. Uh, I'm an idiot. Yep, that was uh, the wrong place to place that bomb. That was a little better. Didn't get a key, but we got a pill. Range up. Yeah, sure. It's fine. It's fine, really. It's fine. Don't. Yeah, it's fine. Try our secret room location here. Alrighty then. Three cents. Eh. This is pretty much what I would call like a break-even secret room. So this should be Book of Revelations, Book of Revelations. We'll see, though. Yeah. All right. That that prediction, you know, rarely comes true for me. I don't think you need to pick up both of them. But this basically means that, if nothing else, I've sunk all my rerolls on this floor into making future libraries into double item rooms. That's a really nice thing to be able to do on a floor where you can afford to do it. You know, we didn't need anything amazing on this floor to guarantee our progress. So we, uh, we invested in the future instead, and I think that's turned out fine. Now, super shitty that we can't go to our shop here because we have the money and it's the last shop that's guaranteed to be useful for us. That's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Hopefully we get an arcade on the next floor so the, the problem is mitigated somewhat. This is a huge floor and losing half a spirit heart right off the bat tickles me in all the wrong ways. I'm stealing this joke. I'm pretty sure this joke's stolen from Dimitri Martin, but I'm a very ticklish person so I think of this all the time. When it's, whenever someone asks you if you're ticklish, no matter what you say, you're going to get tickled. And I think the, the punchline of the joke was you got to say, like, I have diarrhea or something like that. And then they won't tickle you because no one wants to get shat on. But it's true, man. People, they, they treat ticklishness as like, a, uh, as like a comic thing because there's laughter. And I don't think that's right. Tickle being ticklish, which I am, extraordinarily so, it's a really horrifying experience because you, you've lost control. Ooh, yeah, we'll take it. Mom's Pearl, I always think, is it, on paper it's great, but it's a little overrated in practice but anyway it's a total loss of control and it's it's like being an infant again it's like being seriously you're killing me but I can't communicate that because I'm laughing so the the, the human interpretation of my emotion right now is that I'm having a good time but I'm not if you keep doing this for like another 45 seconds I'll pass out so don't tickle people all right unless you have their consent don't tickle people just you, you probably shouldn't touch people you know without their consent to begin with but certainly to just tickle somebody because they're ticklish, that's just cruel. That's just a, an exercise in power that, that makes you feel good and makes them feel like super freaking helpless. That's, that's a perverse thing to take pleasure from, my friend. You gotta get that checked out. So, this is unfortunate. We didn't get our deal with the devil, which I thought was gonna be a pretty good chance. Uh, we are gonna get a range upgrade. I took the coin purse because, well, you know. We have... Uh, or we, yeah, we had uh, Luckfoot, so it seemed like a smart idea. And I still think it is a smart idea. Telepills is something I'm going to save for after the mom fight, because there is a decent chance, because we've uh, kind of gotten screwed with the last couple of floors with deals with the devil, there's a chance, especially if we don't get one on the next floor, probably because I would lose the spirit heart, uh, that uh, we could use that to give ourselves one in the future. Or we could teleport to an I am error room, and, uh, you know, that would be something as well. Plenty of tinted rocks around here. I'm gonna open up all of them because I want these. Uh, I want these. Yeah. Nothing more needs to be said than that. Really? Like, just give me a freaking key. The backflips the game sometimes goes through to prevent you from getting the very consumable that you know gates all progress. 
is sometimes comical. I'm not saying the game needs to have more keys. I'm certainly not saying, hey, make Rebirth easier. Uh, I think for, for new players, maybe that would be something that they'd welcome. But hey, if you've already done the time, you know, to get uh, really good at Isaac, you don't want the game to be easier. If anything, you probably want it to be a little bit harder. Just back up for a second here. Then go forward. All right, we'll try it up here instead. Really? I'm disappointed in myself. There we go. Well, we got a bomb back, which we could use to possibly grab a key, which I'm going to try to knock out of the way right away. We can't use, like, a bomb, you know. Uh, we're going to try to knock that out of the way right away because we'd like to go to the shop here. Even if there is a mini-boss, you know, it'd be worth sorting out. Uh, well, it would be greed, and it would be worth sorting out because it's greed, and you can still get a shop item from greed. So, please be a key. It's the exact opposite. That is the inverse of what I asked for. Hey, can I have some chocolate milk? Sure. Here's, like, a freaking goat. Here's a baby goat. I don't know if baby goat is the inverse of chocolate milk, but it's like, you want the milk? Well, here's a... Here's an animal of the wrong species. That's as close as... Look, okay... The metaphor is not perfect. It's not a metaphor, it's a simile. Okay. I'm gonna uh, simile my f fist into your face. Finally got that one, right? Uh, okay, so we have a key. Let's use it on our shop. I'm gonna be optimistic, no greed. Like I said. Should have said no super greed. Then I would technically still be correct. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Thank you. I'm happy for the spirit heart, but sad that I wasted a key and didn't get one in return. That shit is infuriating. Especially when you, you know, try so hard and get so far, but in the end, turns out it don't even matter. And if I'd known that there was a library, I would have gone to that instead of the shop any D O the W. Yeah, I would really like to get a key here, because I, I don't know if this is true, but I've been experimenting with libraries on occasion over the past, you know, few months, more so than, than previously in my... Isaac experience, and um, it seems to be that when you go to a library, you have an increased chance of getting more libraries in the future. I, I think it might be like a positive feedback loop. I'm not 100% sure about that. It could easily be biased. You know, I'm paying more attention to libraries when they show up. But I think it might be. Oh, yeah, that was really smart. That was a good use of uh, company resources there. So I'm hoping against hope that, yeah, we find a key in here somehow. I guess I was hoping for, like, a slot machine to show up. It's, uh, this is sad. To be able to leave this double item room, or have no choice but to leave this double item room. And that Hoyt's, and Hoyt's pretty bad. I mean, we could use our, uh, could use our telepills, but I don't think it's the proper occasion for it. So we'll be heading down to the next floor. Still feeling fairly positive. Oh, we got, that's probably an XL floor then. How quickly the, uh, old habits come back. You know, pink glitch, gotta be... No, not an XL floor. All right, somebody up there likes me. So this is an enormous floor for us. In particular, if we could get some keys, that would be lovely. And if we could get another library, despite forsaking them on the last floor, which was not my decision, RN Jesus. I didn't forsake, thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. Now, I still probably will go to... Oh, that's... Ah, I could have easily hurt on the fire there. Um, I'll go to whatever shows up first. Um, unless it's an item room. If a library shows up right away, I'll go to it. If a shop shows up right away, I'll go to it. Because we don't know if we're going to get the other one. Uh, this is an interesting situation. Most important thing here is this boss room. Because if we can get that deal with the devil, you know, the world's our oyster. Possibly. Because of the whole, you know, the guppy implication. But, uh, that Maggie's Faith pickup is interesting as well. What's more important, one HP or one more floor of double rate of fire? Ideally, we could take both and then, you know, work it out that way, but I don't think we're gonna have that option. So I think we'll probably sacrifice one floor of Cancer to pick up one HP. I think that's... I think Cancer is, for the most part, a better trinket than Maggie's Faith. But I think in this rare situation, on which it's pretty much just a what's better on a... Like, basically, the HP is permanent. The tiers are just going to be temporary. Um, so I think in this really strange kind of fringe situation, that's the proper way to handle this. So we do get a deal with the devil. That was expected. If not guaranteed. I am going to reroll both of these. And this is this is Okay. 
I'm going to go for nine lives. I really wish that I could get that as well. Yeah. So we've basically, we've we've gone for Guppy now. That's pretty much it. And now I'd say Maggie's Faith is very important. But yeah, um, we're, we're on the Guppy train. If we don't become Guppy, we basically just sacrifice three HP for nothing. Which is enough to be the wrong decision. You know? That's enough to be a decision that ruins your run, is what I'm trying to get at. It might not be, but it might be. Judgment. Incredibly important if we could somehow use this to get back to our deal with the devil. Oh, don't come near me. Thank you. Uh, alrighty then. That worked out surprisingly well. This judgment's a wild one. Maybe we find a curse room on this floor. We use it there. It's kind of like a happy medium. Because I would love to use judgment. Ideally, you have judgments uh, and you use it. You save it for use on a deal with the devil room. That's just, you know, par for the course. You're guaranteed, I believe, a deal with the devil item. Judgment is a substantially better pill than telepills, except, I believe, in this one very weird fringe scenario. So I'm going to use it in here. On the curse room, you're not guaranteed a deal with the devil item, but there's a good chance, or at least like a, a, a non-zero chance of getting a deal with the devil. And we just got HP. I'm going to take it. I was tempted to re-roll it, but this is... It's good. It's good enough to take. Just think of that as more fodder for... Uh, for Guppy's paw if it ever shows up. Yeah, I, I think this is the right decision. If we get a deal with the devil on the next floor, it'll definitely all consider it to have been the right decision. If we don't get a deal with the devil, I still, you know, you, you can't really judge a, a decision in Isaac by whether or not it pans out for the most part. You know, it's there's a lot of RNG going on. I still think my, my gut tells me this is right. So there is a library here. I would love to be able to take advantage of it. We have rerolls coming out of our b-holes. And yet, we still continue to only get bombs. And the lover's card, which I might as well pop. Let's face it, I'm not taking it down to the next floor. So we might as well use it here. Maybe it, at some point on this floor, we'll come across a temperance card that we'll want to use this with. Key. Drop a key. Drop a key. Hey! Macarena. I did not expect that. I really doubt we'll get a second reroll, but hey! Getting a chance to see four item pedestals is certainly better than not getting a chance to see four item pedestals. Stigmata, well worth picking up. The quarter, if we lose it, no skin off our scrote. Rainbow Baby's an acceptable pickup. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty good. So we got HP. It's building us back up here. Relatively realistic chance of getting uh, an arcade on the next floor. In fact, I'd be surprised if we didn't. We picked up the map, we picked up some extra damage, picked up some familiars. Can't go into our uh, item room, which is, unfortunately for this run, par for the course, but this is, it's shaping up. It's a weird one, but it's shaping up a little. Don't, uh, yeah, we're gonna take this. Don't be Necropolis. Don't be Necropolis. This could be our second secret room, which is why I'm gonna try this. I wouldn't really consider a, a bomb for five cents that great right now, considering we have so much money, but I think it was worth a try to find our second secret room. So, this is Necropolis. Not sure if you noticed that. That's a little, uh, disconcerting. Yeah. Can't afford to take damage on this room. This is one of the easier ones. So my no- Ooh, Yeah, we knew that was gonna happen. Alright. My number one priority is, uh, just ensuring that I don't lose this, uh, eternal heart. Okay, so our shop is gonna be not inhabited by greed, which is a good start. Uh, my number two priority is getting to this boss room ASAP. Hopefully, oh, not taking damage in the process, thereby allowing me a good chance of getting the deal with the devil on this floor. Otherwise, this telepills is just kind of like, you know, what is it good for? Honestly, not a whole hell of a lot. Now, this is good. Ish. Oh, thank you. That key could end up being of extreme importance. This is our boss fight. It's gonna be mom. This is gonna be a tricky one. It's regular mom, which is a good one. Saves us a lot of heartache. And we've got some good items for dealing with crowd control here. Mostly what I mean by that is a lot of familiars. And I really like uh, demon baby here 
for shooting without my influence. That's going to be very helpful when things like flies get close, or when any enemy at all gets close. Like, for example, right there. Alright, so I think the way we should do this is we'll, we'll telepills away. Regardless of our reroll situation, we'll try to get to our... We'll try to get back to this room as quickly as possible because we really don't want to take, you know, red heart damage in the process. And if I could trade away this eternal heart for a deal with the devil, that might be good because then I could guilt-free play the blood bank. But still get the value out of the eternal heart. That was a really good fight. Meat's a super good item. We have to take the Polaroid now. Just in case we get IM error. And then we telepills out and we're close. And that's awesome. We will check out our shop because we'll, we're right in the vicinity. And then I think we'll skip over um, the secret room just by bombing our way out. We'll skip through the secret room, I should say, by bombing our way out. That, that way we're not uh, risking any undue damage. So I'd say we buy the spirit heart. And I say we take the 9 volt as well. Alright. So this is a little bit of a moment of truth. I don't have high hopes for this working out, but I think, you know, there's a chance. Please tell me I can bomb my way out of this. Nope, because it was a boss room. That's fine. We got an extra spirit heart now, so all we gotta... Oh, yeah, well, well, one worth bomb... Or, well worth one bomb here to sort this out, I'd say. Since we have unlimited keys, that's gonna help us out a great deal. Two more for the next floor, or, uh... More realistically, two more for... The chest, at some point, should I be lucky enough to live until then. Nice crowd control. Slash chain reaction. Alright. So we made it. Boss trap room, a very interesting conundrum. I would uh, I would agree with you, hypothetical person that I just made up in my head. But I think we've gotten ourselves out of this one. We performed very admirably. Please be a deal with the devil. Can't always get what you want, right? Gives us a very good chance of getting one for the next floor, provided we can keep our spirit hearts alive until then, which I'm a little skeptical of. I'm also a little skeptical that we have... Let's put it this way. We're not going to have a library and an arcade. We're going to have one or the other. Hopefully we'll have one or the other. Um, one of these end rooms, for sure, one of these terminals, as I like to call them, will be an item room. That's just non-negotiable. As much as I would like to negoti negotiate it. Um... It's bad gas, unfortunately. And the other one's going to be an arcade. Okay. Well, we know now. Is it worth losing this Eternal Heart to have a chance to get uh, the Blood Bag? I think the answer to that question is a huge no. We've already got more or less one guaranteed HP, and I don't need the speed upgrade. Now, if we lose the Eternal Heart kind of naturally, which is a possibility on Necropolis, I would consider it. Uh, I'll get that on the way out. But uh, if we're not going to lose this Eternal Heart, then... Man, this guy's pretty darn quick. If we're not going to lose this Eternal Heart, then... Uh, I don't really care. 1 HP is as good as 1 HP plus a speed upgrade when our speed's good. Or at least adequate. Now, we're so close to being out of the woods on this floor. And this would be a very uh, successful Necropolis floor, in my opinion. What a terrible bit of damage there, but anyway... As long as we don't have a, the worst room of all time here. This is up there. As far as worst rooms of all time go. Oh, the fake out. It's beautiful. Just kill one more. Oh, they can't get to you. Okay. Screw the tick. Sorry, little Chad. Not interested. We'll be taking the bomb bag even though there's some obvious caveats there. Oh, the reason we would have thought about playing the blood bank is because of the, uh, the boss trap room. I, know there's, uh, I might as well go back for it. I don't think it's worth it, to be honest with you. I don't think it's worth going to the boss trap room. Because we'd have, like, we'd lose one guaranteed HP. We could get it back with the blood bag, but we'd... Maybe not. There's a chance we'd lose the HP. Plus, we'd be in a situation where, uh... We might not have a lot of, like, absolute health, either. You know, we might have one red heart and half of a spirit heart. That's not a lot, for survival's sake. Still no deal with the devil. I held out a little bit of hope there. We have half of a spirit heart backing us up here. This is going to be interesting as we're on the wound part one. We got one hit of insulation. Now, if we don't get hit twice, we should have a very, very good chance of getting this deal with the devil. Because so we didn't get one last floor. And if we get... Oh, that onk is sweet too. If we get the deal with the devil, 
and we have a reroll, I would give us, you know, good betting odds on becoming Guppy. Which is not enough to say that we would win, but it's certainly, you know, it goes a long way. Just please stop firing. There we go. It, it helps a lot. I don't think I ever went back for that bomb on the last floor. Let's try not to make that same mistake here. We actually don't have a whole ton of bombs. Okay, yeah, a little scary. I did take my one, you know, requisite hit. I have bad gas. It's not really a great, you know, get out of jail free card for a boss, but it is something. This is going to be a big determiner of our chances of success. This boss fight right here. Don't take damage. Be an easy boss. Don't take damage. Skolex, it's the easiest. Thank you for knocking that bomb out of the way. Saves me a lot of heartache. Okay, bad gas worked. I shut my mouth because I uh, oftentimes when I try to get a little cheeky with Skolex, I end up taking damage, you know? It's the kiss principle. Love gun. No, it's the kiss principle. Keep it simple, stupid. Skolex is an easy boss fight unless you make it more complicated than it warrants. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought that was totally safe. And there you go. I effed it up. You know what? We're gonna explore the rest of this floor because there might be a library and this floor is relatively easy and I feel bad that we m missed that deal with the devil chance. There could be a curse room as well. Curse rooms are not necessarily equally useful. They could be disproportionately worse or uh, disproportionately better depending on whether or not we get a guppy item in them. Or any deal with the devil item to begin with, I guess. Telepills, not useful yet. Really thought we'd have some kind of special room here. Situations like this may make me uh, wish I had the compass so I could know if there was anything, you know, worth going for here. The bombs are nice, though. I cannot deny the bombs are nice. And we're gonna have to pretty much get to the terminals on each side here. Uh in order to make sure that we're not missing anything. If only I hadn't taken that damage against this dumb blast assist. Life would be so much better right now. I the, the deal with the devil was pretty much guaranteed if we didn't get hit. But I bunged it up. I took damage against blast assist and Skolex, which is pretty much the definition of, like, you don't deserve it. Yeah, that's bad damage as well. Of course we're going to go to our curse room, because we pretty much have to. It's going to hurt. Spirit Arts help, so you know what? Let's telepills out. That took us to a mob trap room over here, which we opened up and gained essentially nothing of value from, but that's okay. I mean, I guess the, the key's good, but we spent a key anyway. And there's only one more possible terminal left, and my, my dream above all other dreams is that this terminal is a library. Could be a great many things, could be a self-sacrifice room, could just be a room. Could just be a room. But if it is a library, I would feel a lot better about some of the dumb stuff that has happened to me on this floor. Mostly of my own uh, doing, I'll admit. But still, it hurts, man. Because we were in a very good position. And if we end up losing, I would attribute it almost to taking damage on, uh, on Skolex. It's not 100% fair to say, but I don't think it's 100% wrong either. Alright. Dude's very confused about what enemy to kill first there. He was blue, so I thought he had spirit hearts, but definitely the turret is the proper order. I'm gonna pick this up, even though it ruins our half heart interval. And that room is, turns out, just a room. That's a big disappointment. This floor has been full of them thus far. I'm feeling pretty full of it myself. Alright, a couple Larry Juniors, well, a couple of pairs of Larry Juniors. Not a major concern. Demon Baby just killed one pretty much all by his lonesome. That feels pretty good. And we're not sunk. As much as I'm playing up the drama of this, you know, we're we're not in a as good of a position as I would have hoped to have been at this point, but we're also not fucked. That's our half heart interval. We have a lot of HP. Nine lives is gonna be real frustrating. But we have a lot of HP. Okay damage. And uh if we, if we got to the Isaac fight like this, I think we could do the Isaac fight like this. It's kind of a wild card, you know? It's not always easy to tell how you're going to do against Isaac when you're kind of on the, on the fringe. That's obviously not so good. Uh, if, uh, if we could just 
pick up like one or two more damage items, I'd feel a whole heck of a lot better about this. I really am not psyched about losing two spirit hearts on what I would consider pretty easy enemies, but you know, that's the shit you have to deal with sometimes. Six keys means we can start to open some of these golden chests. But again, I'm going to explore the entirety of this floor because libraries are so, so useful. Really? Like, just bereft of usefulness over here. The one time, well, one of the few times I actually go out of my way to explore the entirety of the floor and you just, you know... Hey, let's take an adventure! Let's turn right where we always turn left! We turn right, it's just fucking, like, industrial wasteland. Why can't there ever be, like, a, a beautiful uh, gulch or something like that? And in this case, my beautiful gulch would be a library. It's alrighty. It's alrighty. Could be the boss room. Um, ooh, don't do that. Yeah. Not our boss room, but there's a judgment. Which makes up for the fact, potentially at least makes up for the fact, that there's no terminal. Well, there is a terminal, but it's not a useful one. Why the hell do you even build... You could have ended the room, or ended this this chain like four rooms earlier, if you're not going to put something special at the end. And finally, at the very least, we have something worth re-rolling. Which is almost a, you know, kind of contradiction in and of itself. But we have, we have something to sink our re-rolls into. Something to sink our teeth into. It's a juicy ribeye of a shitty item. Wow, the food here is so bad. Yeah, and such small portion sizes too. Yeah, the, the items here are so bad. Yeah, we don't get very many of them. I guess that's my, uh, that's my complaint in a nutshell. Hey, all's forgiven. No, this is my complaint in a nutshell. Help, how did I end up reusing this awful joke from 1997 smash hit film Austin Powers International Man of Mystery? I'm just joking, by the way. It's not an awful joke. Don't let anyone ever tell you that it is. Rerolls are ready. Triple shot? Or mom's eye. I always forget whether that's triple shot or mom's eye. I think we're going to end up picking it up just on the off chance that it's triple shot. But I think triple shot doesn't have eyelashes. Which, mom's eye is bad. But here's why I'm going to end up taking it anyway. It's not bad. It's just not very good. Um, here's why I'm going to end up taking it. Because on the off chance it is triple shot and I pass it up, I'm never going to hear the end of it. So I would rather eat shit on not knowing the difference between mom's eye and triple eye, or inner eye, I guess, uh, then accidentally not take triple shot. But I'm very confident that's mom's eye, which it is. Dead Sea Scrolls gives us Book of Revelations. That's the ideal payout there. And then we reroll it into Fat Odd Mushroom, which is a really good get for us. That feels good. Might as well do this because we can get a uh, tinted rock out of it, potentially. Still worth it. Decent library, especially Fat Odd Mushroom. Another judgment is sweet as heck. We will get one more reroll, assuming this next room has uh, enemies in it. It's the ladder. Well, it's better than Mr. Boom. So that will be our, uh, our item of choice there. We've had a couple of damage upgrades. Nothing to write home about, but... Enough to feel, you know, relatively good. Oh yeah, thank you, Demon Judgment. I forgot about you. Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got nothing to say to <laughs> Nothing comes out when they move their lips. They forgot about Demon Baby. Doesn't really make any sense, you know. I'm not Eminem and or Chris Pratt, so... I apologize. Now, if you could just pass away... Like a second from now, that would be sweet. Thank you. I expect this to be a relatively easy mom's heart fight, which is the norm. But it would still be a load off my shoulders to know that we're going to have an adequate amount of health when we leave here. Bombs? No bombs. Alright, that good thing Demon Judgment is super easy to take out. Not Demon Judgment. What? Demon Judgment? Duke of Flies. That's where I'm trying to go with that one. Jeez. It's been a while since we had to fight Chubb on the, on the mom's heart fight. Always annoying. And there you go. I took some some damage I'm not very proud of. Can't fly either. I'm really getting hemmed in here, actually. It's proving to be a surprisingly difficult mom's hard boss fight, but at least I'm saving some bombs, I guess. 
That's, you know, a big, I guess, because I just took so much freaking damage. And I'm starting to think that, actually, here's what we do. We, uh, you know, hurt ourselves here a couple of times. So we can actually go to our boss trap room. We'll pick up our spirit heart before we do it. This is a big risk. I mean, I just traded 2 HP to do this. Uh, I wouldn't try this at home. But I'm, uh, you know, desperate man, and desperate men call for desperate measures. That was very close to losing that spirit heart just by being a big dummy. But I think, you know, giving up a little bit of HP... Well, let's, let's preface it by saying this. The odds of us winning with 2.5 HP are not that much greater than the odds of us winning with half of a heart of HP. So, I think this was a worthwhile decision. Excuse me. Hopefully this microphone wasn't sensitive to pick up on that uh, burp that I stuck inside of my body and kept there. So we've only got to fight two bosses. We could even get some kind of consumables out of this. Maybe we'll get more... Th oh, that hurts. Maybe we'll get more than the red hearts and spirit hearts we lost, although that's now increasingly unlikely. Freaking enemies spawning on top of you, man. No. That's what I have to say about that. I don't support it. So in spite of the fact that we have, like, no HP... I can't help but feel like we have a chance at this run. Uh, it, let me put it this way. Oh, that would have been so good. It's still really good, but that would have been so good if it was a guppy item. Guppy's paw especially. Like, let's, let's just talk about that. We're one guppy's paw away from victory. If guppy's paw shows up in a curse room, boom. We don't have one and a half red hearts anymore. We have 24 plus extra spirit hearts. That's a win. Sweet. That's a, a decent trade. That's a win right there. If we can get to 24 spirit hearts and change with permanent Bolaroid invincibility and Guppy, it's not even going to be close. That would be the quickest, like, rags to riches story that we could do right now. But even if we just got, like, a full health pill, easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy as far as I'm concerned, could be better. But, you know, it's not going to be an autopilot victory, but it's, we can navigate it, I think. We wouldn't even necessarily need to be super dramatic about it. We're obviously heading up to the cathedral here. But this is, this is an enormous floor for us. Um, we need to very m until we get carried, which I'm hoping happens, we need to not take damage. Pretty much at all, but to be realistic, no more than is necessary on rooms where taking damage is, you know, n not a prerequisite, but a likelihood at least. Uh, yeah, and also don't do that. That was pretty close to being a, a disaster. Yes, taking damage on that room. I would I would call it disastrous, man. Might not seem that serious, but that's okay. Uh, this curse room. We're going to go to it. It's going to cost us two freaking spirit hearts. That's a ton. <laughs> that's that's like a, a lot of our HP pool here. The Judas Tongue doesn't mean anything for us uh, yet. It, it's possible that at some point it will, but uh, we'll, we'll try to use that appropriately if we get like a Joker card or something. There go our two spirit hearts. We got lucky that we picked up a red heart in the process, but yeah. That curse room, really? Like, I had you in my sights, dog. Um, come on, come on. Thank you. Uh, that curse room sucks. And I still, you know, if we hadn't taken that damage against Skolex or Blast Assist, I think this run would look vastly different right now. I, I would not be surprised if we had had the opportunity to pick up either Brimstone, Mom's Knife, or a Guppy item. I think the smart money is on at least one of those showing up, considering we had a reroll. So this is a dead end with nothing in it. That scares the crap out of me, because we're running out of outs here. I'm going to check this kind of left hub world here, in case we have a library. There's, I mean, we're going to check... I don't love the idea of exploring the entirety of the cathedral, but we're going to explore... At least until we find the boss room, obviously, but that's just, like, by definition how you finish a floor in the Binding of Isaac, of course. But um, we're going to explore as long as is necessary to, to find the stuff that makes me feel comfortable leaving this floor. Or just makes me feel comfortable fighting Isaac to begin with. No library, nothing. Just nothing over there. Alright. Rome wasn't built in a day. It was founded on, uh, you know, fratricide as well. So, let's just keep in mind that from, uh, you know, inauspicious beginnings... Great things can happen. My spirit heart is gone, but my spirit remains. I got soul, but I got no soul hearts. I ate 
pineapples. I've got the dole farts. Uh, yeah, we'll re-roll it right away. I thought about, you know, not doing it just in case there was a library down here, but I figured our odds were probably more on our side if we did re-roll it. So there's just a boss room here. No library, no uh, nothing special. Unless I've missed something drastic, but I don't think I have. Why do I shoot the one that's shooting back at me? That seems like the wrong course of action. Now. It's taking me forever to kill you. I don't know why, like, Loki seems to be, like, such a, a litmus test for your run. There are so many times where I think Loki is almost a little bit too easy. And then I have a run like this, and I go, man, Loki really stands up to some firepower, dog. Like, they need to nerf his HP. Also, why am I talking like this? I don't talk like this. Please just explode and die. Thank you. Half heart. That's big. <sighs> so I took Shoop to Whoop. And then I said, that's not Shoop to Whoop, that's my wife. Also, I didn't take Shoop to Whoop. I took Poison Touch. Why did I take Poison Touch? Isn't that a compromise? Yes, it's a compromise. Can we afford to compromise? I don't know, but I do know that Poison Touch will allow me to feel more comfortable on the Isaac fight every time I get hit. You know, it ain't about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep coming. That's what we're going to be doing here. Every time Isaac hits us, we're going to hit back with some poison damage. Which is going to cause him to shoot more, which is probably going to cause us to get hit more. You know, I'm not saying I'm a genius or anything, I'm just, here's where we are. I'm going to use two keys to open one of these uh, one of these areas over here, just in the hopes that we get maybe like a PhD that gives us our HP back, or... Or... I don't know. I don't know what the or ends up being there. But we have six keys and uh, a dubious chance of victory on this floor, so we have to. <sighs> Three hits and permanent polar invincibility and poison touch. Can we do it? With one orbital. And little gish. I think we have like a 50-50 shot if we don't take damage on this room. Which is is good. If everything in life was a 50-50 shot, you'd take a lot more risks. Probably. Uh, you, you would probably still wouldn't like... I mean, if everything in life was a 50-50 risk, that would actually be horrifying. Hey, uh... Drove in my car yesterday. Didn't die. I'd consider that a win. Oh, the moon is not good. We gotta, we gotta try like this. But if risky things in life were 50-50, you'd try a lot more risky things. Maybe. Maybe not. I can't think of a good example. Every time we get hit, gotta poison him. Gotta poison him. Not a question in any world that has ever existed. If we don't poison him, our chances of winning go down substantially. Substantially. Oh, man. Okay. So far, we're on pace. We're not getting any stronger. So, uh... We can consider that a mild victory, but don't get too ahead of yourself yet. That was dangerous. I'm amazed that I'm not taking more damage, by the way. In fact, if anything, the fight only gets harder, so... Take your opportunities to get bombs in there. You still have that invincibility period. If we can save that for the third phase, which we're going to be able to do, it's huge. Oh, Demon Baby, help me. Thank you. Oh, there's one behind him. Oh, there's one right in front of me. Okie dokie. Reaffirm. If you get hit, you gotta poison. Get hit, gotta poison. Get hit, gotta poison. God had a baby, it's a poison. No, you gotta die. You gotta go, man. Okay, thank you for the red heart. We're gonna live. Presumably. Okie dokie. Well, that was easy. No problem. Please, please, be better than usual. Poop, scapular, blood rights, game kid. These are bad items. Poops, real bad. Real, real bad. Scapular is good enough to pick up. Blood rights, not good enough to pick up. Game kid, good enough to use on a room because we desperately need HP to keep this life alive. And then, of course, we're going to have to beat like the rest of Daddy Long Legs without getting hit. Are you just going to stay over there forever? 
Then we'll reroll. We got half a heart out of that, by the way, which means that it was actually, like, completely the wrong decision. So I feel really smart about that right now. I really thought Game Kid would at least give us one heart. But I guess not. Scapular's still huge, even though we've nullified it here. Okay, okay. Um, Daddy Long Legs is good up until the boss fight. Bloody Lust is good. I don't care what anyone says. I think it's good enough to take here. We'll shoot these just in case there's some HP. Uh, Mini Mush is good. That's nice. Mini Mush is good, but not good enough to take. And, you know, I, I, in a way, I'm saying, well, I'll take Rage, but leave Mini Mush just so we have something to reroll. But I think that's the right decision. I do. Why am I still coming this way? I guess there's closer terminals, but whatever. Uh, just at least get back to a half hard interval. Oh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous, and that's uh, that's damage. And that should have been damage, but instead we lived. And that should have been damage, but holy crap. Stay away, stay away. It's like the Enya song, except with stay instead of sail. Uh, okay, half hard interval. Huge, 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 huge. And I'm starting to believe that there's a chance we pull this out, even though we probably don't deserve to. Mini Mush gets rerolled into holy water. That is trash in a in a cash bash. Doesn't make any damn sense. That's how bad it is. And we're checking our uh I'm making a list. Checking it twice. Finding a library would be quite nice. Mom's knife, Polyphemus. This run. I think I'm a soprano. Maybe mezzo soprano. Yeah, the closest soprano I am. Wait. Rephrase. The closest I am to a soprano is Tony Soprano. Hey! You know, obviously. God rest. James Gandolfini. Now. That wasn't a joke, by the way, you know? I mean, with all due respect. Two and a half HP. Ooh, the poop scares me because it regenerates, and I don't know where it freaking is. I know I could use bombs here, but I don't know. I'm, I'm probably not going to need 19 bombs for the boss. Mostly because I wouldn't be able to use 19 bombs on the boss fight. I can't believe Daddy Longlegs didn't strike when the iron was hot there. You were slowed. Oh, we got a spirit heart out of it. That's, I'm going to take it, even though oftentimes we end up saving them. Um, well, we found uh, several terminals down here, and none of them had the boss fight, which is bad, but at the same time, and now we know, you know? Better to be realistic, in my opinion. As long as you can keep morale high while being realistic. I was gonna say, you should be dead, and now you're dead. And we get the sack of pennies, which is not very good at all. Ooh, <laughs> very glad we never have to come back this way. Holy water gets rerolled into a speed upgrade. You can probably guess I'm very excited about that speed upgrade. I'm a huge fan of uh, getting a speed upgrade in the chest. So often, you get down to the chest and then you realize, wait a minute, did I leave my speed at- oh, I did leave my speed at home. What a ding dong. And then, that's why it's nice to get it on the chest, because you're like, hey, you know, it's like having a, like a tied to go stick, you know? You ever spill something? On your shirt, you just get that tide stick out there, and it's uh, good to go. Now, this is horrifying, by the way. Uh, Monstro jumped at, like, exactly the right time to block my shot, because he's a jerk. Ooh. But it's possible I may actually survive. The yeah, okay. I'll live with that. Half heart, we don't want. We don't want it. Not our boss fight, so... Again, I can't stress enough that if we end up winning on this run, it's actually going to be miraculous. We've had so much go the wrong way. Some due to my own... Oh, that was a great shot. Some due to my own influence, in a bad way. Some uh, some due to the just RNG, you know, the nature of the beast in Isaac. If we win, it'll be a great triumph, considering we uh, had to explore, like, the entirety of the chest, despite having no items? Pretty much no items. Spring to mind here. So we're going to have at least one more reroll. At this point, just a good space bar item might be enough to cash out. <laughs> Funny. Now, we have a little bit more... We've got a deceptively high amount of HP. We don't have a high amount of HP. It's just higher than it looks like it is. 
Uh, and this is a result of scapular. So we'll get two periods of Polaroid invincibility, which is in its own way just kind of a weird kind of sub form of HP because it's time and time is life right now, man. Life is time, etc., etc. Time is a flat circle. Above all else, the extra poison damage is going to be nice. Okay. Of all the permutations of mini bosses we could fight, we found the one that gives us no good outcome. <laughs> None of these enemies drop something that that I need. Sloth or Gluttony would have been just as, as perfect as a peach right now. But unfortunately, we got neither. We ended up picking up two bombs and a pill. It could be full health. It's bad gas, everybody. Bad gas, everybody! Give him a hand! Contributing to our downfall. Much appreciated, bad gas. Now, if you could go take a step back and fuck your own face, that would be awesome. So, yum hard for us is useful. If we're gonna get an item that we don't want, I'm glad it's Yum Heart, because it gives us more survivability than we would otherwise have. And I'm starting to 100% believe, this is a very easy room by the way, but I'm starting to 100% believe that we're on our own here. This is going to be how our run's going to look, and it's up to us. You want to succeed or you want to fail? Well, I'd like to succeed, because at this point I've earned my righteous indignation. I have. Game has not given us an easy out here. We took nine lives, never became guppy. We got so much poison. Oh, jeez. Get in there. Drop a bomb. Oh, that's real bad. Okay. You blew it. Look at the amount of shots, though. My fucking Lanta. I can't talk. I'm Just enjoy yourself, all right? I'm going to try to be okay. I got to keep, like, a little stream of consciousness dialogue going up for muscle memory's purposes. Because I play better when I do that, you know? You just kind of get in the flow state, you, f you focus on what you're saying, and then you just let the animal parts of your brain, you know, the parts that kept us away from lions, tigers, and bears, oh my, when we were, you know, growing up from an evolutionary context, uh, you let that handle it, and it's surprisingly good at not getting you killed. All you need to do is do the fusion dance with Isaac so that your, uh, your brain thinks that you are, we tried. Alright, well, now we just... Oh, the Onk! The Onk gives us a chance! I forgot about that. So how does this work out for us? Well now, you, you continue with the fusion dance, so my brain thinks it is Isaac, so I feel like I'm in danger right now. The fight or flight response is in full effect. That means that uh, my adrenaline's pumping and uh, I'll crash after this, but hey, it's worth it to get that extra, you know, percentage bonus. It's like using a stim pack on your units in StarCraft, you know? Hurts their HP, I think. It's been a long time. But it gives them a small performance bonus. Or a, a reasonable performance bonus. I was never very good at StarCraft. Why would I do something that cost me HP? It's so stupid. Oh, such bad damage. Because if we had not taken that, we would have been in such a good position. This is really it for us. Oh, snap. <laughs> Thank you, Celtic Cross. Not Celtic Cross, Scapular. Either way, thank you, thank you, mythical item. No! Oh, we're fucked. Okay, well, how do we get out of this bucket of syrup? It's one, one freaking, uh, one away. He was dead, Jim. Well, what we do now is we come up to this room and we say, Hey, Super Wrath, what do you got for me, buddy? You pay out with some bombs and a silver check. I still want to fight Super Rat, even though it's an annoying room. It's no more annoying than, you know, half of the rooms that we're going to come across right now, so I don't mind it that much. I'm out of bombs. I didn't realize I used that many over the past two lives. Come on, Gish, like, you have one freaking job. You hit him, like, 16 times and got no slows. Wait, is your metabolic pathway effed up or something? Like, it's not... your poison's not working, dog. You gotta get that handled. Okay, you're in the kill box, Tony. That was real close. Tried to walk through the bomb. That was a dumb decision on my part, but hey, we lived. And there's our reroll. So this is probably like the most important reroll in the recent memory for Isaac purposes. It's not good, 
but it's like good enough. <laughs> it's good enough to try. So how am I thinking that we use mom's bra? That's a good question. I am thinking that we don't use it until we get to the third phase. We got some time to work with here. It's like being in Counter-Strike, right? You know, maybe you're up, it's first to 16, maybe you're up like 11 to 6, and you lose a round, and then you lose another round, it's 11 to 8. You say, hey, should we buy this one, or should we save? You got rounds to work with, you know? Depending on your economy, you should probably save. So I don't mind losing some lives here. I'm starting to realize that uh, we pretty much have no chance of winning this one. Uh, if we get down to our last life, then we're just gonna use Mom's Bra. But, you know, I thought we had some time to work with. I thought maybe we'd stand a chance of getting out of this phase. And then once we got to the third phase, we'd pop it and then it would be, you know, we wouldn't waste our Mom's Bra attempt on one that was any less than the best, basically. Turns out, it don't matter. But it don't matter to me. Whatever you happen to be. One thing's for sure, I would love ya. Raffy, anybody? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Well, uh, I can't help but feel that if we hadn't taken nine lives, this run would have actually won. Been won. We would have won this run. The life of the wife was ended by the knife, etc., etc. The life of the wife. Anyway, let's do it, shall we? Let's not take damage, ever. If we can just get these little gish slows working here. Uh, no. I tried. It was still a fun run regardless. I had a good time. A little bit disappointed with the way things shook out there at the end, but whatever. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.